John Kerry flew into Kabul unannounced from Baghdad, where just 24 hours ago he paid another surprise visit. And the purpose of these two drop-ins was pretty much identical, to shore up and signal US support for these two embattled governments to forestall political crises in countries where the US is desperate to see some stability. Here in Kabul, he sought to defuse the crisis between two former political rivals whose national unity government he actually brokered 18 months ago. But since then, this government in Afghanistan has proved pretty much incapable of ruling the country. In the news conference at the end of John Kerry's visit, well, it was pretty short on news and long on platitudes and reaffirmations of commitments to a strong, stable, secure Afghanistan. But of course, Afghanistan today exhibits none of the above. The Secretary of State's visit here comes as security continues to deteriorate. The United States has spent more, if you allow for inflation, on rebuilding Afghanistan than it did on the Marshall Plan to rebuild Europe after World War II. But much of this money has been either embezzled or wasted, and what hasn't is now threatened by political incompetence and a resurgent insurgency.